you look at sort of the fleet of automated technologies, of software that exists right now, and it's rather frightening to me to think about how many jobs can be replaced by technologies that we understand to be right on the horizon. Two examples. The first example is driving. Driving is the most common occupation among American men. You, you, you said that in the article. I was surprised by that. You mean really cab drivers? Limo drivers? Cab drivers and truck drivers. So you take both those categories, you put them together. That is the single biggest thing that American men do. Now, you're already talking right now about Google designing self-driving cars, about Uber taking all of these scientists from Carnegie Mellon to have their own self-driving cars. This is a serious threat to employment in the U.S. if you begin to have self-driving automobiles. Then you look at the four most common occupations in the U.S. economy. They are in order. Retail salesperson, cashier, food and beverage worker, office clerk. All of these jobs, according to Oxford University, which has looked at the automatability of all of these occupations in the U.S., seem to them to be extremely automatable, either with technology we have right now, better checkout kiosks, better checkout machines, or with technology that's right on the horizon. So I do think that this time is different. We are not back in 1920 or 1950. This is a new horizon.